Hey, what's going on, Virgo? The Butch Tarot here. I'm gonna do your one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And always feel free to comment down below. So let's get it. All right, Virgo. So the first thing I see, Virgo, is I feel like there's someone. Someone that thinks about you and only you. This person has made their mind up about you. You know, with that two of wands, they already know what they want. They want you. But I have them waiting. With the three of wands. Even though they know what they want, even though they think about you all the time, there's no forward movement here. Get that cherry card in reverse, the cancer energy. And the reason why there's no forward movement is I feel like they don't know if they can live up to your expectations. They feel like you have high expectations and they're afraid that they can't live up to it. They're afraid to take that next step. Because they're afraid of that rejection. They're afraid that they won't be enough. You know, f not feeling very confident in themselves at all. And I feel like what's weird about that is I feel like normally this person's very confident. This person's very motivated. But with you, it's almost like it's almost like you scare them a little bit. They truly worry they can't live up to your expectations because the way they see you, they see you as their person, someone they want to build a foundation with. But their biggest fear is that you wouldn't, that they can't live up to your expectations and that you wouldn't accept them. Like I said, this person's a confident person. In their everyday life, they're a go getter. But when it comes to you, they're just so afraid that they can't be what you want them to be. Now, when it comes to you and this person, I feel like you wonder if they're hiding something. They're not. 
And I and I feel like the reason why you feel like they're hiding something is because I feel like with this person, you're going to feel the connection. You're going to want more of a commitment from this person, but you're wondering why they're not doing it. And that's what we have here. They want to. They really do. They want you and only you. They, they've already thought about, you know, building a future with you. You know, they want it, they, they want to come forward. Look at that Knight of Coins. They want to build stability with you. They want to build a foundation with you. They want you and only you. But like I said, they're lacking the motivation. They're lacking that forward movement. Because the way they feel about you, if they come forward and, and there's any possible chance that you, you would reject them or they couldn't live up to your expectations. I feel like in their head, that's just way too much for them to... That's way too big of a burden for them to deal with. Because how they feel for you is you're their person. They only want to make you happy. This person's going to show up. This is the type of person that will show up for you when you need them and when even when you don't need them. They're always going to be in your corner. They have a lot of, like I said, they have a lot of love for you already. And it's only growing. Good news here is I do, I do see things turning around. I do see this person taking the leap of faith with that fool card. Because it's either take the leap of faith or never know. And this is this person, I feel like they're starting to gain their confidence back. I feel like like it's a matter of they know you're their person. So what else can they do? Even if they fail, they're going to try. And they're going to make an offer. Letting you know that they want more from you. And when this person comes towards you, and when they make that offer, when they reach out to you, just know that this, this person is legitimate. This person is genuine. This person is loving, caring, giving, loyal. And they will work their ass off to make you happy every day. Because this is the type of person that will appreciate you for what you bring to the table. They will appreciate you for the value that they see in you. And I feel like they see value in you that you may not even see in yourself yet. And that's the type of partner we want. We want someone that brings out the best in us. And in turn, you will bring out the best in them. Because like I said, they want this to move forward. They don't want to fail. You know, their job in their eyes is to make you happy. And as long as they're doing that, they're succeeding. They're just afraid of you a little bit because they feel like how they see you they put you on a little bit of a pedestal above themselves. It's almost like they don't know if they can keep, they, they can keep up, but they're sure as hell going to try. Getting a lot of fire here. Strong Aries, a lot of Aries energy. But you could be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, um, Water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, more Scorpio Cancer, I feel. And there's also a lot of air in here as well. So you could be dealing with another air sign. Other than other than that Gemini energy that I feel. Uh, it could be Aquarius or Libra. But like I said, they only want to make you happy. They only want to do... You know, they only want to do their best every day for you and I mean that's 
they want a commitment. They want to build a future with you. And the only thing holding them back, like I said, I feel like you feel like there's something holding them back. And you're right. Something is holding them back. They're afraid more than they've ever been before to fail. They're afraid not to be enough. But from what I can see, I feel like, you know, this person is going to make you very happy. Your happiness is going to be important to them. Even more important than their own happiness. You know, this person is willing to take that leap of faith on love alone. They only want to move forward with you. They only want to make you happy. You know, you make them a little bit, you scare them a little bit, but I feel like we're going to get past that. Because like I said, I do see a foundation being built here. I do see forward, motivate, uh, forward movement um, instability as well. But like I said, yeah, with this person, I, I get a lot of genuine energy. They, they truly just want to make you happy. You know, they truly just want you to know how they feel. And I feel like they're going to, that's what they're going to do. They're going to, they're going to show up when you need them, when you don't. This is the type of person that you can count on. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.